Noctis. Subscribe to Vincent Valentine EX Turk channel. What's up, guys? It's your King of Night. I'm on our the Chaos. It's your King of Night, Vincent Valentine EX Turk. I just watched Final Fantasy Pens' video after I got from the gym. I know I have to get, get dressed and get back to work since I just used a um, lunch break for the gym. But I got a little bit of time. I got a little bit of time to talk to you about Final Fantasy news, so I gotta get my ass back in the shower after I get done with this. That's why I look like I'm all raggedy because I just came from the gym. But I watched Final Fantasy Peasant's video when I came in the door and we're gonna get Arden DLC. No, most of this my mind. I'm kinda not excited because I didn't like the character very much. But I'm also excited that we get to actually play bad guys. Cause like I said, Dirge of Cerberus. Uh, import online was the only way you actually got to play bad guys. Or in the city, which of course I'll make you be able to play bad guys in the city. It's a fighting game. Fighting game, you don't you can play anybody in the fighting game. But you actually get to play in a story based game with villains. Now, I think they should slow down and start with the Ravis first because I'd rather have the Ravis DLC than the Arden one. But that's just me. So we're gonna get some backstory. If it's not a, if it's not a gameplay where you get to play as Arden, it's more likely gonna be a cutscene movie where Arden kills all the other Astrals with the Niflheim Empire, traveling with the Niflheim Empire, taking out the other six summons that Ignis said they took out. Also, this will just show you the backstory of Efrit and Arden, and that could be a good thing because I want to know more about Efrit. Since Arden was trained by Efrit, I want to know how Efrit trained Arden to be what he is. So, this could be really, really good. This could be something really, really good. In fact, that's why my lightsaber color, my lightsaber turned on right now. Because this is actually a good enough news, like, to actually commemorate the moment that <laughs> this shit's going to happen for real. So, I'm kind of not excited ha because I really don't like the character Arden, but at the same time, I kind of want more backstory, so... This will happen, I guess. This would, I like that it will happen because I get to see how Efrit trained Arden and how Arden became as powerful as he is since he killed the other six Astrals. I want to see how this was happening. And I want to see Efrit train Arden and all that stuff. And also, I, this will also put, this DLC is going to be a good thing because this could also show what happened to more of what happened to Idolus because we never got to see Idolus. King's Labor is the only time we got to see Idolus. I like to be able to see Idolus and Arden's relationship because Idolus never trusted Arden. Never did. In fact, he had that frown, and if you remember King's Labor, where he had that frown when Arden was right next to him, he just couldn't trust him. And no, no let's be quite honest. I trust Arden as much as I trust Donald Trump as president. Yeah, that says a lot. That says a lot. But we get to see, I wanna, I, I'm actually kind of glad that we get to have a backstory and stuff like that. So, it explained everything that happened. You know. Hate him or love him. You can't, you gotta admit the backstory to Arden is something we all needed. So, you know. The backstory to Arden is something we needed. A character backstory. It was something that's very much needed, and so I'm happy that this is a thing. And, you know, not only that, we get to see how Arden fights. We get to see all his techniques besides the blades, what he can do. Does he do Arbinger? Plus, we get to see the... the I mean, the only uh, the good thing I gotta say about this DLC is if you do play as Arden, you get to see the pink, reddish um, Arbinger. That's only exclusively to Arden. We're, we're supposed to be showing the Noctis's Arbinger, but then again, Noctis had help with Bahamut, so, and the 10 year stasis. So, we already get confirmed that there's going to be a Dark World DLC, Versus 13 DLC, which is actually Versus the World of Versus. And we get a Ravis DLC, which I'm more hyped about the Ravis DLC. Right? Episode Ravis needs to happen. And that this will also put more backstory to Idolus, because Idolus is one of my other favorite characters, even though Idolus was an evil SLB as well. You gotta remember, Idolus was manipulated by Arden. So if we get Arden DLC, we get to see how Arden... And maybe they might go back in time where Idolus is a lot younger and Arden manipulates Idolus. Because remember, Idolus is a man who's trapped by his own greed. He, he only wants the crystal because he's greedy. 
So he's possessed by his own greed. And Arden is like, ooh, I like this dude. He's greedy. I can use him for my plans and get revenge on the Lucius Kyliums. Otherwise, Idolus wouldn't have bothered. I, I have a theory that Idolus would have never bothered Insomnia if it wasn't for Arden's influence. You know, because you know, despite what you think, he kind of had some respect for King Regis. Even though he knew King Regis was his enemy. You know, Idolus was spoon fed by Arden. So you get to see how that is. Arden talks about a better power than what Idolus wants. Than what Idolus wants, and Idolus like, there's even more power than what I what I want. Okay, oh, sign me up for this power. And then you know, <laughs> and then then Idolus does what he does, becomes the Niflheim, you know, becomes what we know as the evil Niflheim Empire, em Emperor. So and not only that, we also will get to put, have more Ravis because. After that one scene where you see uh, Versteil uh, talk to Ravis, this is the time. This is the time placement where Ravis becomes the high commander of the Niflheim Empire. So because he becomes a you know Niflheim high commander, remember Idolus does not trust Arden. So he this is where he will leave. Uh, Rave, Idolus will leave Ravis in charge to spy on Arden. So he assigns him a new partner, and Ravis's new partner is Arden. And because and it'd be easy for, like, a Ravis to betray Arden because Ravis hates Arden's guts like crazy. Either because he's a Lucius Kylium or the fact that he's actually, Ravis knows he's responsible for everything that happens. So we also get to see Arden train Ravis and, you know, how that relationship is. Of course, Ravis is still going to kill, try to kill Arden anyways, even without Luna Freya's death because Idolus doesn't really trust Arden, so... We get to. See, we're probably gonna. My theory is we're gonna probably get to see. We're we're probably gonna. We're probably get to see. Um. Ravis spot. Ravis spying on Arden, which could be very very good in some in, in some cases. This could be very good. So this is gonna be really really good for the, this stuff. So that means we'll get to be able to play. So Ravis will probably an episode. Uh, Arden. We're probably gonna have Ravis as our partner because remember Ravis got assigned to spy on Arden by Idolus because Idolus, you know, Idolus doesn't trust him. So, you know, you know what? It's like, you're high commander. I need to set you with someone higher. And also, don't tell Arden this, but I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't, he's, he's going to do some fucked up shit. He's going to fuck us all up. And he, he's going he's gonna to mess us all up. So, you know, Idolus sends high commander Ravis to go on, take, go on to the wing of Arden. Arden will train Ravis, so... This is how I. This is how this will go. My theory of how Ravis got easily defeated by Arden because Arden also trained Ravis. You know, being the partners because you know the Niflheim Empire they have partners whether you believe it or not. If you remember, Corgi, Corgi was partnered up with Aranea even though they didn't get along. And Ravis was originally partnered up with Versteel, but then became High Commander and chart top the ranks and stuff like that. So he got the assigned mission to spy on Arden and us also be Arden's partner. So the good thing that would be a good episode of Arden is Arden trains Ravis a little bit more. Which, that's why I said this is why uh, Ravis, this is what really explain why Ravis got easily beat by Arden because Arden ends up teaching Ravis everything he knows. And of course, this ain't no walk in a park or no master and apprentice relationship because remember, Ravis plans to kill Arden, whether it's through Ar whether it's through Idolus's orders when Arden goes too far, or if Arden kills Luna Freya. You know, either way, you know Ravis got his eye on Arden, and we'll get to see that in the new thing. Whether it's cutscene or whether we're, or we're, you know, and maybe this episode will also end the same way episode Ravis will. Like, you know, I'm thinking this for party F and because I mean, I don't think they're gonna make you fight Noctis again because that's part of the original story mode. And if you do that, then that go against the canon, you know, just a little bit. You know, that's the I'll be honest, that's what made the no offense. I'll be honest, as much as I love the Final Fantasy 7 comp compilation, it's a good compilation. But the only thing I gotta rip apart by the compilation of Final Fantasy 7 is they put so many inconsistency there, like how Genesis was tormenting Sephiroth 
to make Sephiroth go bad when Genesis was never mentioned in the original. So I can see where, you know, that could clash. So I think they'll probably end episode Arden the same way they'll end episode Ravis. Pretty much Arden has to fight Ravis. And since and, and since you're playing as Arden in episode Arden DLC, um what's gonna probably happen is you beat you beat Ravis. And then you'll show a cutscene of Arden working on a dead Ravis. And, and then you see then it'll probably what, what's more likely going to happen is that you're going to be seeing, like, um... You're probably going to be seeing, like, um... So you, you're probably going to end up... You're probably going to end up seeing, um... At the end of the episode, Ravis walks on out to face Noctis in Ravis Ontario form. So you get to see the deformed Ravis. And then it cut off. Now I don't think this I don't think any of the episodes are gonna go into their actual stores. So you don't have to go play New Game Plus to do this. I think it'll just be specials, just like they did with the Chocobo Carnival. You just click specials and then they'll have episodes that go into it. But I know even though Tabata says that they and I said, I quote, says, we don't know yet. And again, I'm got this information from watching Final Fantasy Peasants video. So yeah, that's where I got this quote from. So I quote my sources, but this will probably be the last episode, like last episode for Final Fantasy XV, and then uh, a month, two months after they make the final episode, which was uh, which episode already, they'll probably make an ultimate edition of the Final Fantasy XV game, which I get to see what that's going to look like, but if they do, that's going to be pretty awesome with all that see. but nonetheless, I'm kind of hyped on the fact that I get to see more of Ravis and Idolus. That's the only reason I want to download this episode, is I get to see, the, and then I get to see how Arden trained Ravis and made Ravis the strongest commander ever, because you know Ravis is strong. I mean, he took out Gladio like it was nothing. No normal person could take out Gladio like that. He just took out like it was nothing, like it was child's play. Like if Ravis was like the school bully and making Gladio uh, make him give his lunch money to him. He's like the bully on, he's like the, I mean, Ravis was like the bully on the playground trying to steal your po your Charizard card every, when you get it open. You go and take your Pokemon cards to the playground, and then he's like, and then Ravis is like the bully that comes on the playground and just takes that shit. With nothing. No resistance. And even though Gladiolus is bigger than Ravis, it's like, so we get to see how Arden trains Ravis. This could be also a parallel because, I mean, you got Efrit that trained Arden. And Arden didn't train Idolus because they were equal. They were equal in their power. But Arden trained Ravis right after Idolus. You know, because they're partners. Ravis and Ar Arden become partners. So we get to see more Ravis and Idolus in there. So I'm happy about that. And I guess I'm happy that there's going to be some backstory. Because I'd like to see what happened back then. I'd like to see everything. Uh, how, how gradually evil Arden becomes over the years. I mean, not over the years, but over the episode, because I'm pretty sure there's more and more. Because, nonetheless, but I'm, I'm kind of hyped for this, but at the same time, I'm not really surprised. I mean, I, I like the fact that they're making villains have deals, because the one thing Final Fantasy XIII messed up on is they never give you chat episode Caius. Like, you never get to play as Caius versus Lightning. You know, for some people who like the villain. But nonetheless, I'm kind of happy, I'm kind of happy that I get to see even more of Bravis, because this will involve Bravis in it heavily as well. May the crystal be with you. Tell me what you think of